Before we begin, I would also love to remind you guys to please like and subscribe. Also, leave a comment down below because I really want to start a discussion with my videos. Comment question of the day. What do you think about Mies and what is your favorite game that you used Mies in? Let me know down in the comments and I will sure to answer you or something fun like that. But now let's get back into the actual topic of this video. The Miis used to be a very, very big thing for Nintendo, a part of the Nintendo console experience, kinda, with, you know, the Wii, the 3DS, even the DS partly, and the Wii U. But now they are nowhere to be seen. We barely get any Mii focused games, which we used to get a lot of them. Is Nintendo trying to get rid of the Miis? Or is something else happening? And that is exactly what I want to talk about today. And in order to do that, I think another history lesson would be nice. I'm trying to keep it brief, but let's go over the history of the Miis with Nintendo. Again, a very brief uh, version of this. The Miis were first created for the Nintendo Wii. And they were kind of like your own character that you could create within the system itself. And now this just wasn't like a profile avatar that you could use to like signify like, hey, this is me. Hello, what's up? Like you could have in like, you know, Xbox Live Arcade or whatever it was called. It was an Xbox guy back then. And um, this was different because the Miis, you could actually use inside the games as playable characters. We had stuff like Wii Sports, Wii Play, Wii Fit, Wii Music, we could go on forever. And that's not all. You could also use them in like uh, Mario Kart Wii, which was really cool, but also other games not made by Nintendo, such as uh, Go Vacation, I remember. And then I also think like Sonic Colors, one of the Sonic games definitely had a mode where you could run around as your mead me in sonic speed and that was really cool Mii's were an integral part of the nintendo wii console experience and this became even more of a thing with the 3ds because two major things that happened the first of these is of course street pass me plaza now street pass was this feature that if you happen to come across another person with a 3DS, well, you know, walking around town or doing whatever, the two 3DSs will, like, share information between each other. And what that information was in Street Pass Me Plaza, at least, was who you came across. You could see the me. And you could also see, like, what they have been playing and maybe, like, a greeting, like, hello, my name is Long, I am from Pennsylvania. We met 15 minutes ago and I have been playing Ro uh, Roblox or something. I don't, I don't know, a 3DS game. Roblox is not a 3DS game. Anyway, the cool, even cooler thing about uh, Street Pass Me Plaza was that you could use these Mii's that you encountered in the real world in uh, mini games. These were like very kind of simple mini games. There was uh, Find Me, which was kind of an RPG style uh, mini game. Then there was also um, this uh, puzzle piece collecting mini game where you collected puzzles and every time you encountered a me, they would give you like a puzzle piece. Also pretty cool. And then they even, they, they, they had even more of these uh, mini games and even at one point I like brought more of them because it was a popular feature. People loved it. And this was kind of the first step of having Mies be something of a social feature. But the other thing, number two, that happened was that in the uh, Me Maker, the Me Maker application in 3DS, you had an option to share your Me with the world as a QR code. Now, what this did was it gave players the opportunity to share their creations all over the world. You don't need internet, you just need an image of the QR code and you can just have 
those characters that other people created in your game. So you can play as like this cool version of Mario that you found or maybe like an obscure video game or anime character that you liked or a me that looked like a celebrity that you adore or maybe someone for some reason made a me that looks like your uncle. You could have all of those me's inside all of your games which was very very cool and just made the popularity of the me's even greater and then in the wii u days um they got even more social features with meverse which was this weird social media platform that nintendo made and also tried to continue later on with their first mobile application ever called mitomo where you had your me live in a room and then it would go bother your friends and ask weird questions on them i i don't know it's just it's it's a very weird game and both of these social media experience meverse and mitomo they failed because well meverse only had the player base to account for you know only people with nintendo consoles could enter the meverse and uh, not even everyone who used uh, those consoles cared about meverse so there weren't really many people in there. And also, uh, Mitomo, it was just boring. It was really, really boring. And this kind of marketing uh, in general uh, failed, really, during the Wii U days. Uh, marketing towards, like, casual audience and same for kids. It was good for, like, the Wii, but Wii was kind of a phenomenon. And even like the sales number started to go go a bit slow during like the end of the Wii. And for Wii U, no one cared. And when it came time to make a new console, the Nintendo Switch, Nintendo did this approach of, okay, we're just going to have a console that is marketed towards a bit of an older crowd you can you can see this in like nintendo switch trailers where you have like guys same age as me uh, i'm i'm 25 by the way uh playing like breath of the wild in a park or in a roof party uh together no children anywhere those children still sometimes appear in like uh commercials uh, yeah but they're usually not just by themselves. There's usually like a parent playing with them or something like that, which is a huge contrast to the Wii U days where it was just all kids for some reason at all times. And they really want to shake up the uh, thoughts people had about the brand during the Wii days. And, you know, just to appeal to more people, just to say like, hey, we are a legitimate business making video games that are fun for all ages, and all ages doesn't just mean for kids. And um, this part of this includes the Mies, because the Mies were highlighted so much during like um, the Wii days and the 3DS days that Nintendo guy wants to push them down a bit, you know? Yeah, you, you don't need them, you don't need them. They're, they're still there if you want to use them, but they're not necessary. Trust us, we, we make uh, games for all kinds of cool people, not, not just the little kids and that kind of stuff. And another thing is with the Miis, Nintendo has realized that they don't really need them. They don't need a lot of that quirky uh, personality in their UI design, at least for uh, the Nintendo Switch. When you open the Nintendo Switch compared to like uh, the 3DS or the Wii, there's much less personality and that is because they want everything to work out. And this kind of thinking has uh, led to other Nintendo uh, projects being like that too. Less personality, but more functionality. And Nintendo doesn't need the Miis anywhere. And that's why we have something I think a bit more generic looking in Wii, uh, sorry, Nintendo Switch Sports. 
I don't like the name. It doesn't roll off the tongue as well as Wii Sports. I wanted to, I wanted that to be called Me Sports, but now they're, they're not obviously using Mies in this one, so it would be kind of weird to use Me Sports here. But yeah, they're using these new characters. I think they, they look very generic and kind of, well, they have some life into them, not to say that they're boring or bland, but they are less exciting than the Mies, especially because we are used to the Mies. So they they made this to, I think, to appeal to a general audience better, and they don't need to market their casual games with Mies because those are not integral parts of the experience. You have seen this with, like, Ring Fit Adventure and 51 Worldwide Classic Games or whatever that game was called. Uh, you, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, they they can do casual games without including Mies in them. The Mies in like Wii Sports, Wii Play, they used to be like player avatars, but you didn't really need them for anything. When you are playing like Wii, uh, Wii Play or something, you focus on the gameplay. And it's the same thing for like Ring Fit Adventure or 51 Worldwide Classic, whatever games it was. If you're playing those games, you don't think about, oh god, I wish that was like a weird version of me in this game. You'll think about things like, hmm, what should my next move be in Backgammon? Or why am I so attracted to that hot dragon? Those are the things you think about, not the lack of like self-representation. Really, it, it would be nice, but it's not necessary. They can still succeed without it. But that is not the case for all games, however, because you still have stuff like Metopia and possibly Tomodachi Life if that ever comes to the Switch. Hopefully it does. Yay, that would be great. But those games rely more on like self-expression and custom created characters to kind of be a part of that identity in the game. And... Uh, Especially, like, if you want to have, like, a party of, like, celebrities or video game characters in Metopia, that's the kind of stuff uh, Mies are for. And they're not going to make a new a character creation tool that is so varied that you can do anything with. When you have already the Mies, and the Mies work well in some situations. So there's definitely, like, still uh, useful so they're not going to entirely replace them. And another thing that they won't be replaced anytime soon is that uh, in order to make like your Nintendo account, you need to, I think you need to have a me assigned to your profile. So as long as that is a thing, I don't think me's are going anywhere. It's just that they're not necessary to be in all of the games and it can be good for marketing reasons to not include them at all times. Now, that's why we have seen Mies appear less and less. They're still there, but they're just there less. But what do you think about this video? Uh, do you like the Mies or do you want Nintendo to get rid of them entirely? Let me know, and I have nothing else to say here right now, so I will just see you guys next time. Bye-bye.